Yes, viewers, welcome back to our continuing lessons in civil 3D. So in our previous lessons, we saw how we are creating surfaces and how we can also edit surfaces and also we can show arrows and slope arrows as well. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you, to demonstrate to you how we can create alignments. Alignments is a tool used in civil 3D to define where your road, road is going to pass. So you can have very many alignments, maybe very many roads where you are going to get your roads in this particular surface. So when you click on the alignment, or when you come under home, we have got what we call alignment. We have alignment creation tools, or we have types of alignments. We can see we have a center line alignment, offset, curb, and rail alignment. This is for railways. Eh? So we're going to start with center line alignment. This now we are going to design, designing how where your road is going to pass. So to click on cent central alignment, you can click and then under the alignment on creating data, we have got what we call alignment creation tools. There are ways of creating alignment. So we're going to start with alignment creation tools. So when you click on alignment creation tools, you have this layout, so you can create alignment, you can give it a name, you can type road A, yeah. And then this is called a proposed. So you are proposing where your road is going to, to pass. Then you just click OK. This is the type. You can see center line. Then you click OK. So in the alignment creation tools, now here we are going to start by creating an alignment. So we are going to do tangent tangent with curves, so at least because the, uh, the road is curvy. So when you click on tangent tangent with curves, you, have, you start to draw when you click that's for the starting point. So as you draw, you can see how the curves are created. You can create your alignments up to that point. Once you are through, you press Enter. So this is our alignment. You can see the alignment has been divide, divided from 0, 20, 40, 60, up to the last part, which is uh, for 20, this is 4, for 37. So that's first alignment. That's one way of creating an alignment. Another way of creating alignment, you can create alignment from objects by using a polyline. So you can click your polyline, and then you also create your alignment. So I can maybe start from there. I'm using my polyline. Maybe up to there. I can turn to an arc. So I can create my alignments just using a polyline. And then up to that point, then you just press enter. So this is just a line. So I want to convert it into alignment. So when I come to alignment alignments, I can create alignment from objects. So usually you use a polyline. So once you've drawn your polyline, you click on the al alignment from object, then you pick the polyline or line. Then you press enter. So you can see, you can reverse, just press enter. So it brings you back here. So you can give it a name. Maybe it's alignment road, road B. Yeah, this is the proposed. We have labels, you can show all labels and then the default radius is 200, then you click OK. So you can see now, this is another alignment. So you can have as very many alignments as possible in a given surface to define how your road is going to, to look like. So on the alignment creation tools, again, you can add another alignment, maybe road C. And then you click OK. Come to tangent tangent with curves. So I want to start creating my alignment from that point. Just drawing. This is just defining where your road is going to pass. Then you click OK. Then you just close. So I've got three alignments which I've already created. So that's how alignments are, are created. You can use a polyline or you can go to alignment creation tools to create your alignments. So this is how our road, where the road is going to pass. 
So in future, we will see if it is possible, if the, the road can, be, can pass there, depending on the cut and fill report. So from the alignment now, you can see under the center line alignment, you can see them aligned here. So we have alignment road A, road B, road C. You can have as very many alignments as possible in a given surface. So after creating the alignments, so I want to see how now, how the alignments are cutting through the, the surfaces. That's called profiles. So I want to create, to, to see a section on how the al al my alignments are with reference to the surface. So I come to profile. So I want to create what we call surface profile. A surface profile is now a section through which alignments cut the surface. So when I click on surface profile, I click on surface profile. So when you click on the surface profile, you have to start by pick an alignment. We have road A, road B, road C, for example, road A, and then surface. The surface we have created was uh, road A. Then you click add, so it adds itself here. Then you click draw in profile view. Yes, so in the profile view, you can give your profile view a name, like maybe road A profile. Okay. Then it's a procedure. You just click OK. That's general. Station range. Next. So in the station range, it's automatic. So it calculates the hole. 0 to 437.1 meters. Or you can use, use a specified range where you can now select from which, which station to which station. So for now, I'm going with automatic. Then I click next. This also has the profile height. It calculates automatically. Height 28.9 to 31.7. Mm -hmm. And then just click next. This has the display options, how it's going to be displayed. Then next, this has called data bands, how they are going to be placed. And then next, this is how they are going to see cut area, fill area, or formative or boundaries. Then you click create profile view. So when you click on create profile view, you can just place it there. So you can see this is called road A profile, and this is our alignment. So this is how the alignment is cutting through that surface. So you can see how the alignment looks like. This is our surface, and this is the section of our, this, this alignment, and this is the section of our, uh, the section of the surface where the alignment is passing. So you can see the nature, how it looks like. Some places are jugged. You can also create another profile. It's called a surface profile. So I want to create a surface profile for road B. Mm, then the, you have to pick the target surface, then you click add. Then just draw in profile view. Then I do, it is road B. Then it's a procedure, just click. It's giving us up to the end. Next, 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 next. Then you create that, then you also place it here. So you can also see how the alignment B, alignment for road B is cutting through the, the surface. So you can see this place is hilly, it's cut through like that, like that. So this is how we show profiles, how the alignment is cutting through your surfaces the surface. So you can, that's how we create profile views. So once we've done this, now we can now move and see how now we can design. So you can design your own profile so that at least it becomes smoother. Remember the road cannot go down like this. See that? Yeah. So after creating what we call surface profile, now I want to create what we call design profile. Because this was this is what you proposed. You just, you just drew a line as a surface. So we want to make it smoother. So you, to make it smooth, so that we don't have these sharp corners, those sharp bends, because the road cannot look like this. Um, so we are going to do what we call design profile. So under design profile, we create what we call profile creation tools. So when you click on profile creation tools, it asks you to select the profile view to create your profile. So you click, I pick the profile view, then it opens. So that is road A design profile. Road 
a design profile. So it's called a design profile here. Then you just click OK. So when you click OK, it also brings us here. So now you are designing. So the de uh, when you're designing surface profile and su design profile, now you'll, you'll get a report on the amount of soil to be cut or the amount of soil to be filled. So you must have those two alignments for you to create a cut and volume report. So I do tangent tangent with curves. So you are, you're just trying to smoothen it, eh? how you want it to run so that those places yeah so I'm just trying to smoothen then you press enter so you can see this is our design profile this is our design profile and this is our surface profile. So as you can see here, this space, so this has, has to be cut and then there are some spaces which has to be filled. So when we're producing a report on cut and fill, it will give us the volume of each and, each and every section of our profiles. So that's how we create surface profile. So first of all, you create a surface profile and the design profile by coming to profile after clicking the surface profile, then you come to design profile, profile creation tools, then select the profile view. You click, and then you also give it a name for like road B design. Then you click OK. So you can also try to smoothen that by clicking tangent tangent with curves. So you start from there. So based on this, when you're now producing cut and fill volume report, it will show you the amount of soil to be cut or to be filled. So the de design profile is just to smoothen the curve, to smoothen the, the surface profile. Because when you look at the surface profile, you can see there are some spaces which are sharp. then you press OK. So that's how we create a, a design profile and surface profile. They have to go hand in hand because once you have designed this is your proposed profile alignment and then this is now what you have designed to trying to smoothen that particular alignment on the surface. So that's how we create alignments and how we can also create uh, profile views. So you must have a surface profile, which you have to start with the surface profile, and then you go to profile creation tools for the design profile, just to smoothen the, the, the surface profile. So that's it on uh, profiles and creation of uh, alignments in, in, a in a surface. Thank you so much. So in our next lesson, we are going to see how now we can create uh, what we call a corridor and assemblies. Thank you.